So tiredness. Okay. Uh, we're on now. Tiredness. So I had, uh, you know, after uh, my rock bottom in addiction, I had uh, kidney failure. I was eventually on a diet. So I felt like I was very exhausted and there was like brain fog. You know, it was like a constant state of exhaustion. I had... Uh, I had 30% of my kidney function left, which meant just enough to keep you alive. I felt like a 70-year-old man all the time, really, really exhausted and tired. And there was a medical reason. I had kidney failure, so I had this fog and everything. So exhausted all the time. And, I, and the, the, you know, I've, there's actually a video on YouTube of me meeting Muji. Uh, so that it is available on there. But I went to see this teacher of enlightenment called Muji, uh, and uh, he asked me, and it's, it's, it's on YouTube, I went to meet this teacher and he asked me, I said, oh, there's all this brain, f you know, there's all this fog and exhaustion and I've got kidney failure. And if you see me on the video, I look like I'm totally exhausted, like, you know, half dead. And uh, he, he said, like, you know, well, yeah, and he asked me, like, uh, what's observing this? You know, what's observing the tiredness and uh, all these things? And within a few minutes, it was all gone. And I was feeling like full of energy and presence. And all of that time, even though there was, seemed to be a medical belief that I, sh I had a clinical reason why I should, it was all gone, even though I was feeling like tired, you know, every day. It was all gone in a few seconds. And there was like this infinite energy and presence and I felt like I'd never had kidney failure before. And so, what I recognized in that is that tiredness is an illusion. It's a belief system created by the ego. And the ego, I mean, The Course in Miracles talks about this world being an illusion based on the belief systems that are within the, uh, the individual and the, what's called the collective belief systems and the individual belief systems. Like a collective belief system can be like, uh, what's a collective belief system? Okay. Like, like is yeah, like something's contagious, yeah. yeah. So that can be a collective belief system, and then everyone gets it. And then someone can have an individual belief system, like, I don't know, if there's too many geraniums outside, then I'm going to have a rash. So, so like it could be an individual belief. But if you delete these belief systems, they disappear from your, from your experience, you see. So obviously, in, when I went to the observer, of, ki of the idea of kidney failure and all this fog and all of this, I was immediately connected to an infinite source of energy and presence. It's here. So tiredness is actually an illusion. I realized that. And even the belief system, like you've got a clinical, you've got clinical, uh, you've got uh, organ failure, kidney failure, you're exhausted all the time, you should be, scientifically, you should be tired. You just can't suddenly be full of energy. That's just beliefs. Those are all medical belief systems. If you believe them, here's the thing. When you believe something, it becomes true for you. Until you can let that go, then you're open to that infinite energy. There's always infinite energy. And uh, so I've done, I've done this many times, and I've done it actually. With, I've done the observer in this group with many people who have been exhausted and tired. One minute they're exhausted and tired, and the next minute they can go into infinite energy and presence. Just by being the observer, of the tiredness, okay? So here's like a little thing. Like if anyone's listening to this video or here in the room, if there's any tiredness or any sort of, any sort of pain or ache in the body, right? Something is observing the tiredness and the ache and the pain. There is an observer of tiredness or any aches or strains. Something is observing that. There's an observer of that here right now. If you can be in the observer of tiredness, when you're in the observer, this is not mental, don't think it. When you're in the observer of the tiredness, ask the question, is the observer tired? And if you're in the observer, the observer of tiredness cannot be tired. I mean, you could be in the observer which is interested in tiredness, in which case there'll be some, but then go to the observer of the interested observer in tiredness. Is that position tired. There's no tiredness there. If you do it, do what I said, you'll suddenly find there's no tiredness. It's only the, the, the belief and the hooking into that energy field. So something is always observing. It's like if this was, the, if tiredness is like this mug, 
and you become the observer of the muck and you're now observing the tiredness, is the observer tired? Be in that position. The observer is not tired because it's observing the tiredness. The, um, the observer of a mug is not a mug. The observer of tiredness is not the tiredness. So once you detach, once you let go of the attachment, then you see, as Buddha said, if you let go of all attachments, you become enlightened. You see, free of all suffering. Suffering is a field of the identified ego. So once you're in that field, all, all suffering ceases. So that's how I would let go. The other thing to let go of tiredness, if you can't do the observer, is feel the feelings. So you just sit down in a chair and just allow, but don't let your head drop and don't go, go and slouch on the thing. Just sit down with the tiredness and then just allow yourself to experience that feeling and without labeling or going to the head until it fully dissolves and goes away and then, and then there's lots and lots of energy. See, when you feel tired and you go to sleep, you don't transcend it. But when you just be with the tiredness and feel it out until it's all gone, you'll start to transcend it. So it's very, very different. So that's how you let go of tiredness. If you do this a few times, you'll never ever believe in tiredness again. Once you're in the observer of tiredness a few times when you're tired, you know you just have to access being in the observer and you can shake it off in a split second.